Hi, this is Daniel from 1% Property here with your weekly market update for Kedron Gordon Park and the surrounding suburbs. It is Saturday the 23rd of March, 2024. This week in Queensland, we had 1,157 sales with an auction clearance rate of 52%. Uh, not a lot changing in regards to the statistics there. In the inner north, we had 38 sales. Um, quite a lot more than last time, than last week, sorry, but you know, probably similar to what we've been seeing since the start of the year. So it seems like although stock is down in the state, we're still having quite a lot of sales locally. Um, four at 55, no, notable sales in the area, number four slash 55, Sixth Avenue and Kedron uh, have settled. I sold that property myself, two bed, one bath, 75 square meters in a six pack on the avenues. Previous price record, 470. We had someone offer $590,000 for that one, so very good result, 15 offers. Uh, two slash 15 Sixth Avenue, uh, same street in the avenues in Kedron also settled. Uh, that is a three bedroom townhouse, previous price record 830,000. We sold that for a million and 50. So getting some really, really good uh, results in the unit and townhouse market. Uh, another notable sale, 12 Ferry Street in the Grange, five beds, 405 square meters, 1.97 million. So definitely some very good sales over the last few weeks, some good prices, especially in the unit market. In the media at the moment, uh, rates were announced this week, held at 4.35% uh, as expected. There is definitely speculation that we should be expecting some rate cuts over the next um, six to 12 months, which is, which is good for obviously, hopefully reduce some of the pressure on people's back pocket. Um, stock is still incredibly low. Prices have gone up 0.9%, so 1% over the last 30 days, uh, with the unit market still absolutely outperforming everything else at the moment. So very, very positive market at the moment, especially for homeowners and sellers. Uh, still a very tough market for buyers in the area. At 1% property, uh, another really busy week. Um, unit two at 134 York Street in Nunda is, uh, is unconditional. That is a two bed townhouse sold for $670,000, highest price ever seen for a townhouse, two bed townhouse in Nunda. Five Corrigan Street in Capera, also unconditional, 861,997, three beds. Uh, again, suburb record for a three bed home on that lot size in Capera. Last week we had uh, 70 Champion Street in, sorry, this week we had 70 Champion Street in Griffin go under contract with two offers after the first open home. 10 Lily Pilly Court in uh, Kalanga under offer with 12 offers after the first open home and three slash 414 Lancaster Road in Ascot, under offer with 20 offers. Uh, lots and lots of offers coming through at the moment. It is very, very important if you are selling your home that you pick an agent that has a concrete laid out strategy for handling this many offers and making sure you get the most out of people. Because when you have so many offers, it is an opportunity, but it's an opportunity that can be missed. Very, very important. Um, Coming up over, not this week, because it's Easter on the weekend, but next week, 11 Lupton uh, Street in Chermside West, three bed, two bath, uh, high set built in underneath, great property there. Uh, 12 slash 467 Hamilton Road, fully renovated two bed unit with a nice big car park, nice big garage. Uh, seven Gleason Street in McDowell, three beds, high set built in underneath, big block, great street. Uh, two slash 11 Huxley, uh, that is in Alderley, two bed, one bath unit, uh, renovated inside, uh, very well presented, nice outlook. And number five, Primrose Street in Wavell Heights. It's a fully renovated four bed, two bath at the end of a cul-de-sac, right near the park. And number one at seven, Arnott Street here in Kedron, three story, modern, beautiful townhouse. So lots coming up, lots going on. If you have any questions about anything I've said, any questions about the market, or you would like to have a chat about your home, give me a call, 04245 Otherwise, I hope you've had a fantastic week and I hope your weekend is even better.